Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create your own HUD animation really quickly inside of After Effects using a couple of tips and tricks that I've developed. Okay, let's get into it. Open up a new comp, which is completely blank. Uh, just a full HD comp, 920 by 1080. Uh, I'm going to start with by selecting a typeface and I'm going to use the uh, fonts from Adobe. And this is called Per Human. I'm going to start off with a uh, plus and we're going to use the align to align to center. Now the anchor point is not in the middle so if we press control alt and hope that ships it to the middle. And the way I create my HUDs is just by adding loads and loads of detail. So I'm going to duplicate, no I'm not, I'm going to add a letter U and then if I select the font uh, windings three. This gives me an arrow. Now I've created a little um, comp already here. So the font windings has arrows that you can use in your designs. And this is how I create my UIs. And you can see it's just letters here. So, you know, this is the letter U, this one's the letter Z, this is P. This is Q. Um, so let's just build, and I think that's the best way to learn. So I'm going to put this somewhere here. I'm holding shift to jump it. Now, the trick here, if I jump back here, is I've not actually created all these elements here. Look, if I try and select, nothing happens. The whole design is created in the bottom right hand section. If I select them all and uh, show my layers, you can see that um, the uh, composition is only made out of all these layers. It's only 60, which sounds like a lot, but it really isn't if you count the number of individual glyphs on the screen. So to create the uh, effect, because you can see it's all symmetrical, we just use a mirror. Uh, let me show you how. So the first thing you want to do is there's two types of mirror. One, you can mirror the um, if you have a line of symmetry, if we imagine the line of symmetry is through here, you can mirror whatever happens on the right, what happens on the left. And I also want to have another type of mirror there. Whatever happens on the bottom happens on the top and the left. It's better if I show you. So um, let's hide our guides. And back. there we go. And I'm going to select, there we go, mirror. Yeah. I'm going to change the reflection center to the middle, which is half the comp. So you just have to type in slash two, which just gives you 960 and change the reflection angle to 180. And that gives us a reflection on the left side. I'm just going to call this mirror LR. So I'm going to add a letter T and change this to any typeface really. That's the serif typeface, but I like using this one here and then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees again put it in the middle I'll shift and then I'm just going to copy this and paste it on here next thing I want to do now is slowly build up like a target frame around here so to do that I'm going to put the letter L and probably make this into select the right one and go bold and why is this not working there we go i'm now going to rotate this 90 degrees now if i type in if i grab this mirror lr paste that here that reflects perfectly to the left, but I want it also to be on the top and bottom. So I'm going to duplicate the mirror and then call this uh, BT, which means bottom and top, and then change this to negative 90. We now have a perfectly mirrored element. Okay, I've just adjusted so the shortcuts appear here. Okay, that's looking neat there. And 
Okay, and now I'm just gonna keep it building. So now I'm gonna add a dot here. Okay, place that there. And probably, okay, now I'm gonna draw a line here, duplicate that over here. And all I'm doing is just building up layers and designs. Okay, and then I'm gonna duplicate this guy, put him here, duplicate him again. There, but this time I'm just gonna switch that to 90 degrees and put it that way. And then maybe change the font so it's a longer one. Maybe. So it's just a question of just some duplicating and duplicate again. There's no really any wrong way to make a HUD. Well, there is. Okay, so, okay I don't know. This is shockingly bad. So I'm just gonna adjust some of the opacity problems. Okay, again. And then I'm gonna add a dot there. Okay, again. Add a dash here. Make this dash. So now I'm adding a dot and I'm going to change the typeface to semi bold just so it's more of a square dot. I think bold might be better, yep. And if I switch this around, I could get the outline. I find that a bit too big, but I'll go with it. And I'm going to add, make that probably 40. Change that to one. Right, then I'm gonna add, let's see. Let's build some elements here. Let's go with the dot again. But this time I'm only want to mirror the top and bottom, so I'm going to turn this bit off and call it T. Swap this back and make it a lot smaller. And then also go with light. And let's make it perfectly in the middle. Okay, and I want to add some arrows. They always look cool. So I like this one here, and all that is is the letter Y with the winding three font. So I'm just gonna pull that in here, paste that, and then I want it to be on both sides. So I'm gonna copy and paste this, click here, and now we've got it here and here. And I'm gonna go with it much smaller. That looks neat, but I want to switch it to these ones. So 
So I'm just designing on the fly here. There's not any wrong or right way to go about this. Um, let's get some more details in this area here. So how about a couple of arrows maybe? Let's go with some down arrows, which is the letter Q. So all I'm gonna do is go to this one, duplicate, and then I only want top and bottom. Press the letter Q. And this time I want a solid arrow. And I want it a little bit bigger. And I want it dead middle. And maybe I'll go again underneath and press Q again. And just change it to auto. So that they're next to each other. Add a few more of these. About two here. I don't want the top and bottom, so I just want it here. Push it to the top. Quite like these again, so I'm gonna add a few here. Now you don't want to go above this line, otherwise the mirror effect disappears. So I'm gonna probably make a little thing here. Change that to 40, change that to one. That looks interesting. I'll do that by mistake, but I like it. Duplicate again, but this time I'll change this to a dash. Make that solid and make it light, but then make it a bit bigger. So it's more of a thicker line. I'm just going to create a little shape here. Turn off rotor. Let's create a shape here. And then again, I want it duplicated on the left and the right. So I'm going to use this. That looks cool. So, you know, we're building a HUD already. Let's keep going. Add some more stuff. I think what I want to do is create a more focused element here. I didn't really want to create a circle, so let's I want to continue with the rectangular theme. Just create a square. And then what I can do is just duplicate these two and then pull them here and here. I want it to be above. So I'm going to press uh, Control Shift and Bracket to push it to the top. You can see it's not perfect that square. So let's align it to the middle perfectly. Oh, another tip if you're creating shape layers and you're finding your anchor point is not bang on in the middle. You just need to go to your preferences. And I believe there's a button that says center anchor point in new shape players. Just make sure that's ticked. Okay, that's looking cool. What else can we add? I mean, at this point, you can add whatever you want. Um, there is no right or wrong, but let's just keep going. Let's duplicate that, add something here, change the size to 40. What else can we add? 
How about some more arrows? Um, ah, that one's cool. That's just a dot. Oh, period. So you just select a winding spot and press. I mean, there's loads of different shapes with winding three. So let's go with this one. Copy. Paste. That's quite big. We'll probably have that in the corner here. Just out of the way. And once again, just copy these guys and paste them there. I mean, that's looking a bit too big for me, so that's too small. So let's go with 20. That'll do. I mean, nothing here has meaning. It just needs to look cool. So let's add a few more elements. I'm just all I'm going to do is uh, duplicate this guy and select the letter Z. Now that's duplicating the top and bottom only. So I want to turn this one on. In fact, that looks okay there. I'm going to duplicate him again, switch this back, and then push this toward the bottom here. I'll switch that actually. I think these guys here, let's just knock the opacity back by 50. And same with these two here. Okay, so what I, I'm going to do now is kind of make her a ruler or, or another element. So I'm just going to add a couple of dashes. And then change that to Change these to dots. Don't need many. Put these halfway. And switch the anchor point to the middle for both of them. Center it. And then add one of my left and right to both of them so now that that's mirrored and I'm just gonna knock back the dots by 50% and yeah it's not too bad okay but let's just add a few more additions I'm just gonna create another layer here move this over and then, what else can we add? Arrows. Let's grow with some more arrows. So I'm just going to duplicate this guy. Bring him here. Change this to the U. So we've got arrows going that way, but I want only this to be on the left and right, not top and bottom. And pull this opacity up.
Uh, let's add some random buzzwords. Don't mean nothing. Let's switch that even smaller. Duplicate that guy. Push him over here. You can't mirror text because it'll just look like it's mirrored and you don't want that so you have to duplicate and move for these ones um i mean that's okay it's not the best design um now if you want better designs then i have created a hub pack um which has 35 beautifully created huds that i've made using this technique but you know you can see how long it takes to create one of these i've made 35 um, really really gorgeous animated ones in 4k along with an additional 40 elements like targets and tracking markers and things like that and you can purchase that from the link below if you're watching this video i'll add a coupon it gives you a little bit of money off if you buy it through as a youtube uh, viewer uh, link is in the description okay so now i'm going to show you a quick way to add animation to your design select that first arrow uh, because it's the first thing you made it's that one here i'm just going to solo everything because because it's a mirror all you have to do is move one and it automatically animates like this left and right so let's have something so keyframe keyframe here and then select capacity keyframe move one foot forward go down move one foot forward go up move one foot forward go down and up again so now we'll get this flicker and move that move is way too slow so let's do that then press f9 to add some easy ease so now we've got this little animation here so how do we animate the rest well let me show you we're just going to hide that one. In fact, I'm just going to put that here because this is going to be the first thing I want to see. Now, all you have to do is use a free script called Delayer. I'll put a link in the description. Put your details in there. You can send your real name or fake name. Send the script and you get emailed below. It's made by this cool guy here. Uh, unfortunately, he did pass away two years ago, so that's pretty sad. But um, uh, I'm glad that his legacy of his uh, scripts live on uh, and I can't believe this is actually free because it's really really cool for creating uh, staggering layers so let me show you how it works uh, for this all you have to do is select the layers and I've just done Control A I don't want the uh, one I add animation to and you just have to select here so how you want it to animate so I want it to animate from the center out and if I select that it's just automatically staggered all the layers and if I play you see it, they appear through the middle and you can have it quicker by adjusting the frames again select that boom quick undo let's see if I want it from top to bottom boom uh, left to right Cool. Uh, but I like it from the middle and out but on the original one I had this little flickering effect that's pretty straightforward to do now you can do it with the opacity but because I gave some um, layers 50% opacity you can and if I start change animating those kind of mess up the design so easy way to do that is I'm going to reset everything back to normal uh, it's by using the transform property so if I select transform and opacity I'm going to select a keyframe there there that, and that 
So that's what I've got on here. I'm going to select all of that, select these keyframes, select all my layers apart from the first one and then paste. So now everything flickers on like that. But I now I just go select all, unselect this one, click. And then I'm just going to push this across here. Turn on this layer. And now we should find animate some. Let me select everything, push it across again. Because I kind of want those flickering on once they've all moved, once these arrows have moved. So probably around here. Push this back. So like this. There we go. So, you know, if we didn't have that script, it would have taken a probably half an hour of our time just to do that. So that's basically it. Uh, now I'm going to create a background for it because bl plain black looks a bit boring. So I'm going to double click to create a new solid, which creates one here. I'm going to fill it with well, a little gray color. I don't want a stroke, even though you're not going to see the stroke, I don't want it. I'm going to add a fractal noise. Select that as that 160 and select the brightness to minus 50. And then I'm going to add a fast blur and crank that up to about one. Let's go 180. And then add some noise for some texture. 2%. Normally I use colored noise, so I think it looks better with colored noise. Push that to the bottom. And then here we go. done and there's your HUD animation so as I mentioned if you don't want to create your own HUDs and you want some and you want access to some pre-built ones I've made some already let's have a look this is a HUD pack which has got 35 HUDs that I've animated using this method and designed using this method these are available in 4k so I've got loads of different options and they I mean they're all designed using the techniques I just showed you uh, you know, they do take time to make. There's 35 of them. I mean, I started off making just five and I just kept enjoying myself and making more and more and more. So there's loads of different ones here. So there's loads of different HUDs here. Um, some are, And what's great about this, they're modular, so you can actually layer them up on, on top of each other to create a more detailed HUD. Um, and it's one of my favorite ones. I and it's quite similar to a HUD I worked on when working on the Spider-Man movie. So you are getting professional Hollywood grade standard HUDs 